Hi, my name is Ryan Odette. I am a student at the University of Northwestern Ohio. I am currently on my third year of the motorsports team, and today we will be building bumpers for our uh, UMP Modifieds that I currently drive this year, along with two other students. For this project, we'll be using inch and a quarter, 4130 chrome molly, 065 wall tubing. We've already cut our tubing and got it prepared to get assembled in the jig. Our bottom design of our jig is a simple square box tube design. Uh, the front bar is cut at a 45 degree angle. Our side bars are cut at 45 degree angles and have a slight 5 degree bend in them to meet the bumper plates. Um, we also have our top hoop that is bent at a 90 degree angle. Uh, the full width of the bumper that will meet the top plate and get tied in with two front bars. First I'll find direct center of the tube to find the center of the bumper hoop on top of the jig. Then our jig has a set distance that the tube has to fit in between. So I'll take that distance and divide it in half. Mark it the same on the other side. And then from that point, I will subtract five inches from it because our, radi or our die bends at a five inch radius. We'll set our radius measuring device up at 90 degrees, which is what we want our bends to be. I'm Nick Whitecheck. This is my uh, first year at UNOH. I'm a driver and crew chief for the number one stock car. So the first step is to, we're going to cut our, our tube at 20 degrees. We determine that's what it needs to be cut at. It's really nice being on this motorsports team. There's always someone there to lend you a helping hand. We work together every day on this stuff. My name's Anthony Pupor. I'm a student at the University of Northwestern Ohio. Um, I participated on the motorsports team. I'm the crew chief of uh, the 01 stock car. Now that we have the pieces ready for the fixture, we can place them in to make our final cuts. A lot of times it'll take us a couple attempts to get this cut right, so you'll see us going back and forth quite a few times, just trimming a little bit off and just making it fit perfect. First we're gonna lay our um, lower bar for the front that has a 245 degree angles. Um, now we're gonna lay our two side pieces, which is 45 degree angled on one end, and we have them cut long right now to, um, so we don't have our final plate determined where we need to cut them off. Um, next we're gonna lay our upper loop into the jig. We have our two front brace pieces. Now we will have to take our two plates to, um, and figure out how far, how much tubing material we need to cut off for the plates to sit properly on to the, so they can sit onto the car. Today we're going to be using the Millermatic 212. I like to use the auto set on it, so I'm using 035 wire. So I just set it to that and the 065 tubing we set it to 16 gauge. Now that we have all of our pieces cut and fit and sitting in the fixture, we're going to go ahead and start tacking them all together. We tack the bottom tube first, and then the uprights off of there we tack second because we wanted to make sure that they came off the bottom tube perfectly at 90 degrees. Now that we have the front bumper completely tacked together, um, we're going to weld the, all the tubes onto the plates and all the tubes together so it'll be ready to go in the car.
For the rear bumper, I will be using Miller's Synchrowave 200. I particularly like this machine because it is easily mobile and is, it provides great use for us on all the cars, no matter if it's uh, welding steel or aluminum. Because we are welding chromoly steel, I choose to set the machine at about 120 amps on direct current negative, and I will use the foot pedal to vary my current throughout the welding process. Today we took you through the process of fabricating and welding our front and rear bumpers for our UMP Modifieds. Uh, you saw everything from the cutting, the bending, the fitting, and then the final welding. We uh, migged the front one with the Millermatic 212, and then we tigged our rear bumper with the Synchrowave 200, which we built in the same fashion. For more racing, customizing, and restoring tips, go to MillerWelds.com.